Civility, or should I say lack of civility, unfortunately dominating headlines this week. The attacks not unique uh, to a single political party or to any real segment of Americans, but uh, there are some things that, uh, about this that are really happening, right? We know that they're spiraling out of control and that these consequences uh, could be very real and even very dangerous. Joining us now, Dr. Alveda King, niece of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and a Fox News contributor. And, and uh, Alveda, you wrote an article and, and you kind of, you went there. You talked about where uh, this sort of acrimonious uh, civil strife that we're involved in, where it could ultimately lead America. Charles, it's very expensive, the strife, the shattering, the breaking. These are actually the best of times and also the worst of times. We've got so many good things happening in America right now with the tax breaks, the unemployment down, job market up. I mean, several things that you've talked about in the previous segments. All of that is just so great. But then we have elements that just want to find something wrong and fight and splinter and argue at the same time. Now, you know, I'm a a little bit older than a lot of our audience, actually. However, I remember in the very worst times in the 20th century, segregation, houses being bombed, all of that, but people still were working. There were geraniums in the window, whether you were rich or poor, those kinds of things. And we weren't attacking each other like this internally. So it just absolutely has to stop. We have a president that actually is improving the economy, right. uh, some of the issues that people are concerned about. He signed that executive order reuniting the, the immigrant children with their parents to a certain extent. And, you know, I keep asking, you know, there are American mothers, maybe who committed some kind of crime because their children were hungry. They get thrown in jail and the children ripped and thrown in defects. We've got to look at all of that as well. We certainly do. Uh, yeah. You know, what you brought yeah. up about the best of times and the worst of times, it, it's what bothers me, what makes me very nervous is if the if the if the anger is at such a boiling point with unemployment at these levels, with record unemployment for blacks and Hispanics, with the economy growing at 5 percent potentially this quarter, what happens when the inevitable recession comes? Can this actually well, morph into violence, real physical violence, the ugly kind of violence that maybe Americans didn't think was possible in this country? It could erupt into violence if we don't keep level heads. You know, my uncle, Martin Luther King Jr., we've talked about this before. He said, I've decided to stick with love. Hate is too difficult a burden to bear. Daddy King in Atlanta at the boiling point said, we've got to become the city that's too busy to hate. My daddy taught me how to love in the face of hate, Reverend A.D. King. So rational thinking, a soft answer turns away wrath. I did blog that today and I tweeted that. It's really true. So we don't have to come right back at somebody because they say something that is offensive. We've got to keep level heads. It's right. very expensive. This is a business channel. You know, strife tears up things, and then who's going to have to rebuild all of this? 